you are talking about Bharati Joshi Maharaj. What I explained yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday. So Bharati Joshi Maharaj was my inspiration. That I say. And then I explained that Bharati Goswami Maharaj was the general secretary of Sri Chaitanya Bhuriyama. And though he is general secretary, but his nature was very peaceful. Peaceful. Peaceful he is to tell that. And his, his logic Whenever giving Harikatha, his logic was very attractive. That I, that I explained once, once I explained, right? Whenever we are in the trouble, huh? Ramanuja Charya. Yeah. I don't really explain that when we are, when we are, whenever we are in trouble, for the sake of our sake to save our life how much we need we have to accept it that I explain one grip water then he said no then hunter say yes you told you are extremely thirsty yes I was that you remember right then he says that so take what you know you are hunter so before you did, before you drink yeah, that i need I, I needed to save my life therefore such type of logic hmm. i can give an example hmm. when our gopinath gauriyamar started you know gurudev has desire had desire to establish temple for Radha Gopinath, because our deity was in a room. So, I explained Bharati Master Maharaj, we have only 60,000 rupees, but temple needed a lot of money. It was 1992. So, how we are able to start? 60,000 rupees, I think this is till finish in the foundation, not only for foundation will not finish. Then Bharati Mahana says, give me inspiration to start. If Lord wants to get his temple, he will arrange. Fact is like that. But his fact was, it was the end of 92, we started our whole temple plus Sankirtan hall, temple completely finished, Sankirtan hall almost finished, everything finished. It was 1994 before Gaurapurnima. No money. But Vaishnava says, start. Then I ask, there is no money, how is it possible? We have to be in, we have to be in reality. Then he's very nice logic. That, do you think uh, that Lord is inspiring Gurudev to, te to make his temple? Or Gurudev, uh, Gurudev, when uh, Puri Goswami Maharaj, he has desire. Why? Because Lord inspired him. So Lord will arrange everything. In, in reality, when we finished all the temple construction in Mayapur, then I said, we have no, no date. It finished. So I, we started by the inspiration of Bharati Maharaj.
this fact is not like a, I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually uh, say something which is not true. It is fact. So Varati Maharaj is such type of uh, practicality hmm, he has. He says, you are Brahmachari, that time of Brahmachari. We are like a, we are like, we are like a soldier of Mahaprabhu's oh, mission. Mahaprabhu's mission to preach. So whenever you get up early morning, you have to pack your bedding. As soon as order comes, take the bedding and go. Ask how the Mahaprabhu, uh, how the soldier are going to eat. Pack your bed and make ready to leave whenever the order comes. Don't keep the bed in the flat. <coughs> uh, order, uh, or as order, if there is any order coming to go, uh, to, to, to leave immediately, you should not just pack the bag. Backpack all over the <coughs> So my most important part was that we are Mahaprabhu's soldier. So it was soldier of Mahaprabhu's mission. We have to be mildly prepared for that. Always ready to serve under any circumstances. Because Mahaprabhu's mission based on service. That inspiration I got from Bharati Maharaj. I already explained you the generosity, although uh, I am too junior for him, but I already explained you two dhoti he brought. Every year he used to two dhoti for me. Whenever he went to Hyderabad, always bring two dhoti for me. How many, I, how many years I was Brahmachari? Three years. Three years bought six, two, 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 six dhoti from Hyderabad. Thick dhoti. Gave me. And he was, his actual memory power is excellent, was excellent. Which day, who was there, every, which memory, everything. Prepare. You can see my divine master, the books, if you read, then you can see all the date, all the day, all the action. Yeah, he is telling everything. Anything, any history, if you just ask him, he will give you. Perfect day, perfect. Uh, Perfect situation, he will explain. You know, one day I was in confusion. Why am I, I was in confusion? You know, Javad temple, you know, so the Javad temple, Javad, rather than his birthplace. You know, we actually, we actually renovated or reconstructed the temple. Because temple from the Dwapar Yuga, all the bricks become powder. The villagers request me to repair that temple. So, uh, out of enthusiasm, I accept the seva. When I move the temple, the deities, another place, when I next place we make the deities residence and when we are trying to repair that the contractor says bricks going to powder is not possible to repair we have to we have to completely demolish and make a new then i show i have no no money for that <laughs> but somehow or other i got inspiration the Ritich Radharani is the condense of all Lakshmi Devi. 
right? Condensed form of all Lakshmi Devi. I don't think so Lakshmi Devi will be a problem to reconstruct the, the, the temple. But miraculously, miraculously, uh, in 10 months, to whom I gave responsibility to finish the temple, to, to, uh, to look after the construction, that Vrindavanila Devi says, in, in 10 months, said, this temple is ready. When are you going to inaugurate? 2010. Or oh, 2012, I think, no? Yeah. 2011 or 12, anyway. Just few days before of my Guru Maharaj's uh, appearance day. <clears throat> it was Pitri Paksha. Pitri Paksha means there is a traditional, traditionally, actually, in that period of time, we should not uh, inaugurate or install any deities. So several devotees there give objection, but I already already spread the message, invite so many people, almost fifty thousand people. I cannot step back. So I came to Harati Maharaj, if he come to me, come to there, come to inaugurate that. But he said, I am physically weak. I can't go, Javad. But I can tell you, reconstruction. You are not constructing new temple. You're reconstructing. Just logic. You are moving deities, deities old room, and old, you reconstruct it, and you are finish it, you are entering the deity to that, to each reconstructing place. There is no objection, go ahead. I was mentally prepared to cancel all the programs, then Bharati Maharaj logic said, yes, it's true. We are not making new temple for him. Same temple, we are reconstructing. So logic, therefore, therefore his logic was very attractive. No. Any time, like, you know, Bharati Maharaj, you know, when my spiritual master physically passed, I, I was in, I was not in India, I was in Singapore, I was actually San Francisco. First time I went to USA. And the day of Gurudeva's physical departure, it was my return day, but their devotees told me, extend your program, because Gurudeva was physically okay. They can, they actually uh, rebook my, uh, my date, date of journey, my return. Really after 10 days, 10 days more I have to stay there. So anyway, it is fixed, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, news, devotee called me, would they follow? And after rebooking. Then after that, uh, I was trying to get ticket, confirm ticket. The San Francisco to Singapore, okay. But Singapore to Calcutta, there's no ticket. So what to do? Then I called Bhakti Balla Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Balla Tirtha Goswami Maharaj said, actually today, we are busy here in uh, our Vrindavan temple. But I am sending Bharati, Bharati Maharaj. He is well known about this Samadhi, everything. Samadhi ceremony. 
all the programs of Samadhi ceremony, I am sending him. Anyway, Bharati Goswami Maharaj came, but it was too late. Therefore, he, therefore our Bhakti Sarvasu Govinda Maharaj, uh, he performed the ceremony, actual principal priest of the ceremony, Samadhi ceremony. And Bharati Goswami Maharaj came after the Samadhi ceremony over, but he felt that I engaged to, the, to his services. Anyway, I have to be here until his uh, condolence ceremony. You know, the condolence ceremony day, it was uh, all of a sudden one of our lawyer, Gurudev lawyer appeared with a letter, sealed letter. So who will open the letter? Then everybody choose Bharati Maharaj. No. Then Bharati Maharaj read the letter. So therefore we can say all the time physically, physically we, we, we realize all the time we realize Bharati Maharaj always savings and always Curing our all doubt. He opened the letter. In the letter, Guru Maharaj, 1994, he already make a will for his next succession. Everybody was surprised. This lawyer came from Calcutta High Court. Guru Dev gave him that letter. The Gaurudas Chakravati. And then, just two hours before of this function started, he arrived there. And then he just with the letter. Someone should open the letter, which is sealed. And someone should read the letter. Bharatumaraj read, open the letter, and read the letter in front of public. It was English language he wrote. Therefore, I'm telling, in any kind of, any kind of trauma, uh, any kind of turmoil, uh, so Bharati Maharaj coming in our, in our middle and solving the problems. Therefore, Bharati Goswami Maharaj is worshipful or for all Gopinath Gauriya Mahat follower. Of course, Bhakti Valkitya Goswami Maharaj also. Because whenever we are, actually Chaitanya Gauriya Mahat means Bharati Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Valkitya Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Valkitya Madhavi Goswami Maharaj is always depending on both of them. It was his Bhakti Valkitya Madhavi Goswami Maharaj's desire. It was Bhakti Valkitya Madhavi Goswami Maharaj's was desired <coughs> after Bhakti Valla Tirtha Goswami Maharaja's physical departure, my successor will be in Bhakti Daita Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj. It was, his, it was his desire. How I know it? Because Bhakti Bhakti Pragyan Rishikesh Maharaj, you know. Bhakti Prabhupada Rishikesh Maharaj, once he told me, Bhakti Prabhupada Rishikesh Maharaj, he once he told me, he told me that our Gurudev mentally appoints Bharati Goswami Maharaj, successor after Bhakti Ballab Titha Goswami Maharaj's physical departure. You can look, Vaishnava's desire never miss, you know. Although this turmoil is there, Chaitanya Gaurima turmoil when Bhakti Vallabh Tirtha Goswami Maharaj physically uh, challenged to survive. Uh, he, he, he manifests past time to challenge to survive. At that time, somehow or other, situation arrived 
Bharti Maharaj should initiate, right? Start to initiate. Although, too much obstacles. I feel Bhakti Dada Madhavu Goswami Maharaj give him inspiration. Go and follow and expand my mission. So now you can see in your Guru Parampara, who is there? Bhakti Vigan Bharati Goswami Maharaj. And after that, Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. So it is sign but to expand Madhav Goswami Goswami mission by Bharati Goswami Maharaj. I what I why I'm telling you so because several times Bhakti Pragyan Rishikesh Maharaj he told me. Do you know Bhakti Pragyan Rishikesh Maharaj? He was very exalted personality. He was temple president, temple in charge of Calcutta Chaitanya Goryama. Long time. Also West Bengal finance minister Asim Dasgupta's PA. He was before. He used to work in government office and he was fully renounced and stay in at Chaitanya Gauriyama at Calcutta. Highly educated person. Ah, that person. He told me that. So therefore, uh, I felt Arthi Goswami Maharaj separately open his uh, center. But it is, it is the desire of his Gurudev Bhakti Dvaita Madhav Goswami Maharaj for expanding his mission. Am I clear? So, if we look, whenever you go any places to give Harikatha, you always give reference from different Shastra. You know that. Always pull some story from Shastra. Whatever your doubt, he cured you. They saw Harthi Goswami Maharaj, they were associated with Harthi Goswami Maharaj. Huh? So therefore, Harthi Goswami Maharaj is, a, is a actually exemplary Vaishnava in our Parampara. As well as he became initiating Guru in our Parampara. So when I invite him, you know, when he has desired to stay at Vrindavan, but he has no place to stay after separating, separated from Chaitanya Gaudiyamana. Then uh, one, actually our Godfather Madhopriya Krishna Kripa, means, you know, the Madhopriya Prabhu, Madhopriya. He and other devotees, they inform me, is there any possibility to host, Bhar Bhar host Bharati Maharaj in our temple? Our building was not ready. Guest house building was not ready at that time. Then I request who was constructing this building, request, please make it faster. Because Maharaj will come at Kartik. He wants to stay here. Make it faster and make ready the rooms. But no problem. Prepare them. So anyway, I was not in temple when he arrived. I was somewhere else. Two, three days after I when I arrived, it was two hour too late night. I never met with him. Early morning, I, I entered to his room. He was sitting in a chair, and one devotee, I don't know, is a little bit. No, he's not able to. Huh? Narottam Prabhu. He is massaging it with his oil, oil massage. 
he was wearing gamcha, you know, sitting on the chair. He was massaging with oil to him, and then Maharaj Dandavat. Then he very nice expression. He says, like so he says, it is like a palace. It was not my expectation. You are arrange everything out of my expectation. It room, visiting room, toilet. You saw that, na? When you went, everything nicely arranged, and we are such a happy. So I was become happy. I I I was only for ten days uh, in that temple that time. Then I left. So whatever my question is, whatever like nature of Bhagwan, what if you do any things. Maybe a little bit. This they look. Ah, it is too much. 